Hello and welcome to the Abundology Podcast. My name is Renee Spears and I'm coming to you from a very sunny, beautiful downtown Portland, Oregon. This is the weekly energy update for the week of January 19th, 2020. Every Sunday I talk about how the energy is going to be for the week ahead and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And we did it. We made it through a very, very tough transition. And I've heard from some of you that you just sailed right through it with no problems and others of you spent three days in bed because it was that tough. So either way, it's behind us now and it is full speed ahead for the next three months. And it's going to be one of those times when it feels like a week has gone by, but it's really been three or four months. So take some time this week to plan what you'd like to happen for the next few months. Set your intention for how you want to spend this time so in April you don't look back and say, God, I didn't get anything accomplished during these past three months. You'll feel really good about the things that you did get accomplished. So this week we have the first new moon of the year and the decade and of these new big cycles. And that new moon is on Friday, January 24th. And as we know, a new moon represents the end of one cycle and the beginning of another 28 day cycle. And this is an excellent, excellent time for making a fresh start. And this new moon is in Aquarius um, and it is square Uranus. So a new moon square Uranus means change, uncertainty and unpredictable behavior. And remember that even good change can be stressful. So since this is a new moon has the potential for stress, this would be an excellent time to start building permanent habits and ways ways to deal with your stress. You'll be able to handle all of this, all the changes expected in this, in our world and this, these next new cycles over the next few years by establishing ways to deal with that stress now. And that could be anything. I think this would be an excellent time to start uh, meditating if you're not a meditator. Uh, Download one of those meditation apps and do a nightly meditation. Also the perfect time to really look at your life and what is causing you stress and either eliminate it or figure out a way to reduce some of that stress. Start exercising, because we know that is one of the best ways to reduce stress. You could also try out a bunch of new things like acupuncture and other new things to see what works best for you to deal with stress. So this new moon is encouraging us to set up our how to deal with stress plan right now. And one more thing that I would like to um, add about this new moon is that Venus is sextile Jupiter. And this brings lucky breaks and is an opportunity for new love and partnerships. So I'm excited about that because as you know, I am manifesting a soulmate. So I'm expecting in this next 28 days for that soulmate to appear and to establish new love and partnerships. So on Saturday the 25th, it is the Chinese New Year and this is the year of the rat. And the rat is the first sign from the 20, or excuse me, 21, the 12 animal cycles of the Chinese astrology. And for this reason, 2020 is considered a, a year of new beginnings and new renewals. And in Chinese culture, rats were seen as a sign of wealth and surplus. And because of their reproduction rate, married couples also prayed to them for children. So in the terms of yin and yang, the rat is yang and represents the beginning of a new day. So this metal rat year is going to be a strong, prosperous, and lucky year. This is really a great time uh, for starting new things and evolving. And those to plan to buy real estate or start a new business, this is the time that you'd really want to do it. But it's essential, it's essential that to be successful during this time that you have to plan carefully and you have to follow that plan. This is not one of those times you just wing it and go for it. Set up a plan, follow the plan, be intentional, and you will be successful. So this year of the rat is going to bring us creative energy and energy which you can manifest um, plenty of things, everything that you wish in your life. This year, everything is possible. 
and you have the power to be whoever you want to be. So we have this first new moon of this new cycle on Friday, which is all about new beginnings. And then the very next day on Saturday, we have the Chinese New Year of the Rat, which is the first sign of the Chinese astrology and represents new beginnings. So this time is all about beginnings and moving forward to the life that we came here to, li to live. It, this is the time to go for it. We've been dreaming big these last this last month. We got through this tough transition time where, you know, maybe a lot of things were cleaned out of your life, relationships, jobs, other things that weren't serving you for the highest good. And so this is a time to go for the life you want and with a plan of exactly what you want. So there's no holding back. This is the time we've been waiting for for our entire lives. So this might be a time if you know that there's something holding you back and you can't quite get over it, might be a really great time to go into therapy, to finally move these blocks of things that are holding you back. Doing a new moon ritual, putting it out there that this is what I want my life to be. This is the way that I want to move forward and I'm moving forward with the dream life. I am all in and I'm going for the big life. So yeah, it's maybe a little stressful, you know, but we're working on dealing with that stress better. So any ways that we incorporate dealing with stress better now will help us for the rest of our lives. Because as we know, this is the start of these big 36 year cycles, these big change, fundamental changes in how our world, our economy, our planet, all, how everything right now is going to change in a massive transformational way. So if we can set up ways to deal with the stress right now before all of this really starts happening and getting here like we're at the baby stages so what's happening right now with what's going on with we see in our political system and in our planet and even in our lives these are the baby stages and this is a little stressful so we can imagine that all of this change may be difficult to deal with if we don't set up ways now to deal with the stress for the rest of our lives so here we go, this is it, moving toward the dream life, all in, no holding back. Um, we have the year of the rat on our side with these new beginnings. We have this new, uh, new moon coming on Friday too. So this is it, we're going forward. So have a wonderful week, have fun celebrating the year of the rat, and I will talk to you next week.